Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished. My name is SK Gitunga, thank you for joining. Do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms. Today, we're talking about Youth Digital Pathways to Sustainable Development, which takes us to our next question. How do you think the youth can empower themselves? Let me know what you think in the comments section. It is of course through the transformative governance as a whole, in terms of the youths being given a chance in leadership. So we need to have also youths who are in leadership positions so that they can also open opportunities for the youths who are coming up from, let's say, the university and also those who have already graduated with no jobs and also for the banks as well as institutions to also offer, you know, loans to youths for those who cannot access jobs, at least through the ideas that they have, they can also open their own jobs and create jobs for other youths also. Yeah, so this is the best way forward. Banks as well and lending institutions to offer loans which are, let's say, competitive for the youths to apply for them and for them also to open their own businesses as well. And also for the government as well to offer opportunities with regards to the, uh, the retirement uh, period for these old people in government. It needs also to be given a chance so that the youths can, of course, fill up these positions also. I think uh, government should give us jobs because uh, bila hiyo job wezi ji you know unapata maisha imekuwa ngumu unapata umekaa kwa singu yako pale mkuru kwa jenga you have to you have to live according to your standards kwa sababu wezi niambia mimi naenda nienda ni Cairo Samu sina job nimemaliza shule uko nyumba ni 6k unapata bado like tunafaa tujinua tukipata hizo jobs na serikali wanafaa like uh, retirement uh, age inafaa ipunguzwe ikuwe 50 50 55 kwa sababu wakiritaya wengi ndio utapata vijana wengi wamepata job pia hii issue ya majuu waanze kutuambia tuende majuu tunaenda majuu kufanya nini Kenya it's a home we have to be working in our motherland so other, other thing ni serikali watupe grants watupe loans ili tuweze kuanzisha biashara zetu kwa sababu ukiangalia hii biashara biashara mingi hapa Kenya kuna biashara za kawa hizi watu wa burudi wamekuja kuchukua unapata hatuwezi like hatuwezi ziingilia saa hizi juu anatengeneza kahawa anauza 10 bob na hiyo kahawa kitambo ilikuwa inatoka 20 bob so unapata yeye sisi tukiingiza biashara wataanza kuuza 5 na hiyo 5 unapata kwao ni pesa what i've said is that yes we can empower ourselves through the the talents we have the the skills we have but you see at the end of the day when you look at you want to empower yourself unajikuta you don't have capital Ndiyo, hata mi nazataka kuanza biashara, nazataka kufanya ABCD, but naangalia upande wa capital. Like for instance, to start just a, a good business, you need like a minimum maybe of 3,000. Maybe maliuko, you can't even afford that 3,000. How do you start? Hata biashara tu ya kupika tu mandazi. People just assume that you just wake up, go on the streets and start cooking. You need a jiko, you need a karai for cooking, you need a stand for display. No. You need something at least to, at least to, you need capital to start again. No, no. So people just assume that maybe you can just start with 200 bob, maybe five. It's not easy. Yeah. Kuna mass education. Tune, kuna upcoming election in Akuja in 2027. So the youth can educate themselves. Walo nyo kuko, wenye information yu afiki. Unezo educate weleze kusu vile politics inaenda ndo next time ukikuwa na vote wakuwa accountable for their votes usi vote yetu mtu ya mekuja haka kupea unga fake promises ana kuambia ti ni ukini vote ya ukitoka pa kitu ya kwaza na kupea kazi no unye unajua kazi ya kunezi ya kakupea umo unye unajua kuna ya unemplay una empower mwenzako na msomesha then next time mtu wakenda kuvote vote accountably usende tu kuvote kwa sabu mtu wa mekuambia vote ya utu na vote ya uyu ati ametupea pesa tu votie wa mzazi yako amekwambia votie huni mtu wetu kwanza ukabila mm -mm. ukabila na wanyi na wa Kenya kabisa ukabila na politicians to on the forefront kusambaza ukabila uh, the youth can empower themselves through learning uh, skills uh, which are uh, free you know and in in all these uh, since since uh, technology is uh, very well widespread now uh, people can access uh, skills you can learn through youtube and other websites that offer free education yeah, to the youths. There's this thing that says there's, there's, what, there's wisdom for every generation. And right now, as we can see, we can really use the media and in the internet, uh, content creation. I'm like, trying to 
where okay i think like where we will not find what we want we can try to adapt to other things you got to figure out who the hell you really are it's just like you got to just got to find something to do in your life just for me i do rap like rap my own thing rap is what make me to be me you understand so we just got we just got to find something to represent ourselves in the in the face of the country you understand yeah one cut kuna unity two kujituma manze ndio wenyewe wizi katuko kija alafu sema utapata lazima utoke nje utafute mali utapata atakane ka opportunity kiasi kavanya silo tumekam tafuta opportunity na hii pande atakaa tumepata ya alafu still unafa kujua mapema lazima ujue talent yako ni gani juka ujui sauti na utenda tu kwa useless to the society the youth can empower themselves by participating in workshops and seminars that promote um, the youth to do better stuff. Like there are so many organizations. There is the Model UN. There is another group in school called the Beacon, in which I'm a board member. Um, there's a lot basically they can do, and being hands-on and participating in practic practical skills, yeah, that can be very helpful. Youths on a kuwa empowered wakipewa loans zenye ziko na low interest juu ikiwa na low interest wanaweza chukua na walipe then kitu ingine, kama government ita form more factories na pia wa limit idadi ya watu wenye wanatoka nje kuja Kenya kufanya kazi for example naweza ona wa China wako huku na wako na kampuni na wameemploy wa China wenzao so wakifanya wakija huku wa employ watu wa huku inakuwa sawa at least the youths wanapata kazi one of the ways in which i think youths can empower themselves is by finding a skill be perfect at it and make sure you practice so it can help you earn an income instead of waiting for a 9 to 5 job another thing is you can also uh, join a group that helps you or rather improves you emotionally and also uh, supports your career development which takes us to our last question what's your message as a youth to the government let me know what you think in the comment section the message that I have to our government is for the president, first and foremost, to be a listening president. That is the first important thing. You know, you can not only listen, but also understand. It is important for him to listen and also to understand the message that is being directed towards him from the youth. Understand and also implement the last one, to implement. Because what I have seen with him, he listens, he doesn't understand, and he doesn't implement. So that would be the message from, let's say, a youth perspective to the government. They need to have a listening ear, not only listening but also understand the challenges that the youths are facing and also in terms of understanding they put themselves in the sh in the shoes of the youths. You know, so that they can also understand what the youths are going through. A lot of youths are in depression, a lot of youths are feeling they're not being understood. And we're also having a lot of migration in terms of human resource to other countries which is leaving a gap also for us as a country most importantly. So the government to have a listening ear understand and also implement what they're hearing as the grievances of the youth. We should have a law yenye inakuja inasema mtu akiiba pesa ya mtu anafaa like aleto mali kama archives anyongewe hapo kwa sababu that's uh, yeah, that's uh, public resources yenye mtu akifanya anaiba that is so me according to me nasema mtu akifanya kosa anafaa like awajipi awajipike mwenyewe because hii Kenya system ya Kenya sijui venye na wako sababu unasikia mtu u, u, kuna corruption lakini hiyo case inaenda ikiendanga okay the government should be serious at the first of first and foremost because we are seeing the kind of people being elected wako tu pale kwa bin ubinafsi wao unaona somebody anajua at the end of the day yeye hata ajui what's going on on the ground ako tu pale bora yeye amepata mshahara yake and you see the worst thing is that these leaders when you now elect even to, to even meet some of them to tell them our problem it's hard you have to go through a lot of processes you matter you meet the pa of which the pa doesn't even call you back it will take a while and you see it takes only the courage the people who have courage even the strength to go on for instance i have a problem and it's an it's a critical problem and i need to see a certain emotion unapiga simu unafika pale kwa mlango ya parliament tunaambiwa no you have to make an appointment me i have my problem and this is the person i elected this is my member of parliament 
Nikiambua ni make an appointment. Okay, now nah, I agree. Go and make, I go and make an appointment. That making an appointment just to get even that appointment is a tussle. Unambua pigia pia wake. Pia kata kuambia, okay, I'm going to call you back. You wait even for two weeks. Pia ja kupigia simu. You're just waiting there. So, ata problem yako ija kwa sold. So, how are, how are they being effective? But now during the elections, that's when you see those emoshimiwa zona kuja kuitu. Eh? They even, they can afford even to come to our houses. Hmm, to, ask, to ask for votes. But right now, because Wambisha Pata, they don't even know what we are going through. It's hard to get them. Hmm? Government wakue, <laughs> they say my is okay, but wakue serious. Wache kuchiza wache kuchiza na taxpayer man. Tunalipa tax, tunalipa tax, kifika, wanachukui zo pesa wanega kwa mfuko zao. Expenses zo wameka ni, mm -mm. projects wameanza. Pro, wakuna kutu ya kushow off kwa yozo projects. Projects inaanza vizuri, muna fry inaanza. Kifika katikati pesa imeshe na fani ni contractors wa mekula. Na o contractors, lafu kitu ingine, government contractors wa government ni yawe nyako government wenyewe. So wanakuli zo pesa. Ya wako pesa tax, taxpayer mani wa, watumie vizuri. Hata kawa naiba basi, wanini, <laughs> waboreshe ekonomi. Ndiwa kiba hata tusijue basi. Sia titue ekonomi ni mbaya na wanendelea kuiba. So kitu mzuri by the way. Yeah. I'm a learned uh, fella. So like uh, I've done history, I've done philosophy. And uh, the things that I've observed, maybe, you see, if uh, you look at uh, USA, like, we have very big states, which only have three representatives, you know? So, like, uh, there are states that are bigger, like, three times the size of Kenya. And uh, when you look at uh, the representation, uh, I'd say that Kenya, Kenyan citizens are uh, overrepresented, you know? They should reduce the number of uh, counties to the previous seven or uh, provinces, to the previous provinces that were there, and uh, manage uh, funds well, funds, management of funds, and uh, curb corruption, because it's the biggest uh, dream uh, killer in Kenya right, right now. Yeah. Give us a chance. Give us a chance to try and be instead of like shutting us down and giving us an opportunity to try out something for ourselves and see if we can be the next. Because if Mtashinda Mkitu put down because you're young, you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, you're not going to help any of us. Yeah. And right now we we are not the future, we are the present. <laughs> May Sage, I would just like to say that so you guys got to treat us equally. Huh? You got to give us a chance to show you what we got, you understand? They got to give us a chance, just, just a chance. We just want a chance and you got to give us opportunities. Yeah. Okay, my message to the government is that government by the Nafakachini, I see to skize, can you sit in the and make the decision. I see the youth to Kachini to skize, and I start to have a good conversation. My message to the government uh, as a youth is for them to actually consider putting us, more of us in the government. We are capable, we are able, we are well trained and they should listen to us more because the country is in somewhat a state of anarchy because of them being very stubborn and not listening to us. I the Zambia government was considered the youth to Wakikosa ku consider the youths wanamaliza the leadership. Wa create jobs, wa come up na vitu zenyezi, na create more employment, na pia wa limit idadi ya watu kutoka nje kuja huku kufanya kazi. Ndiyo at least youths wa huku Kenya wapate kazi. Wache kutoka mtu anasomea Kenya, yes after sha soma, anapeleka skills zake inje. So waki, waki organize tu vizuri, youths watakuwa sawa. Uh, my message to the government is uh, to teach the youth to, to sustain themselves rather than uh, to promise them. Because uh, we know that with our resources, when we promise uh, bigger, when we, we make bigger promises with the little resources that we have, we are actually leading nowhere. But if we tell them what is on ground, for them to, at least we shall be giving, uh, giving them a blueprint of what really is, and so they can prepare themselves to uh, face the future ahead. My message to the government is that they should give us a chance 
we are more than the KSC generation. We have ideas that can be implemented according to how the world is changing. We need new people, new leaders, new energy, and people that are not afraid to speak up their minds. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Keep those comments coming. And thank you to everybody who's at home, my friends, my family. See you next time.